Let me try to give an instance of what terrorism is not. Uh, in 1944, the British Royal Air Force sets out on a bombing mission. The target is the Gestapo headquarters in uh, Copenhagen. Perfect target. The planes loose the bombs, drop the bombs, and they miss. Instead of the Gestapo headquarters, they hit a children's hospital, a children's hospital, and scores of children are horribly killed. This is an accidental, tragic outcome of war. This can happen. This is an accidental, tragic outcome of war. This can happen. But it is not terrorism. <laughs> Been told to gather there. Among them, the mother-in-law of Scotland's first minister, Hamza Youssef. The people of Gaza want to live. They can't in the night even breathe. There's no air. They suffer. I watch the children play in the day and cry in the evening. My heart is broken. Through the day, Israel's bombardment continued. In Gaza City, more buildings turned into craters. Three generations of one family killed here, this woman says. Israel's army continues to tell civilians to move south. The humanitarian conditions in the Strip are under control. We continue to stress that the residents of the north should move to the south. We continue to stress that the residents of the north should move to the south. At an international summit in Cairo, Jordan's king called any forced displacement of Palestinians a war crime, sentiments echoed by the Palestinian president. We warn of any attempts to displace our people from Gaza, and we also warn of any attempts to expel Palestinians from their homes or displacing them from Jerusalem or the West Bank. Elsewhere, there was restated support for Israel's right to self-defense, along with its obligations under international law. Despite the incredibly difficult circumstances, I have called for discipline and professionalism and restraint from the Israeli military. Israel's stated war aim is a permanently changed picture, the eradication of Hamas as a military and governing entity. On Saturday, Israel's army released these images of its soldiers training for a ground invasion.